What is up guys, it is Nish Joe here. And uh, today we got uh, an update for you guys on the Billy Bragg situation. And uh, it turns out that Billy Bragg was actually innocent. He did not cheat. And uh, he will be moving on to Nationals and Worlds um, for the time being. I didn't think it would be possible to investigate per se um the situation with billy break I, I think they're just basing it like it seems like they're basing it off of little evidence and um i think they actually weigh the pros and cons of actually taking out a player like billy break so uh l let's just read it uh so the kd penalty community has reviewed your appeal based on the tournament files from the event requested from the tournament organizer you can see that the match slip was entered relatively early in the round, which supports your appeal statement that the match was conceded prior to playing a casual match. So, um, Billy Brake did say something about Jackie beating him quickly, but um, based on uh, how fast the, uh, the, the slip actually got um, given back, you know, like based on how fast both of them actually signed the slip and uh gave it back to the judges i mean if, if you don't know how um these events work is that uh so when you play an opponent like there like there's a slip on the table and so pretty much the winner has to sign in one slot and the loser has to sign in the, in the other slot and you know it probably won't be legit unless a your opponent's a no-show so if your opponent doesn't show at all then you just sign the win slot and just give it back and your opponent you know and if you actually do end up doing the duel you know the loser has to sign in the losing slot winner has to sign the winning slot and so um not only that but because there was additional and reliable information to back up your claim uh the committee agrees to grant your appeals so it's not only based on the actual uh, like the small amount of evidence that they had like i don't think they could have actually based it entirely off of that which is why I, I think he got banned at first but um there w i think it was because of the, the support of the community that he actually got unbanned and not actually because of uh konami themselves i mean obviously konami made the decision to unban them but i i feel like it like it wasn't just his his own appeal you know it was just multiple people saying you know okay billy's legit um It'll probably like the people who were sitting next to them, the people around them, people like Jonathan Moore who were saying that, um, well, although Jonathan Moore wasn't around at the time, I'm using him as, as, an, as an example of what he said where um, they decided to give the slip in before they actually played the match. So Billy Brake was already uh, given the win before they actually played the duel. So yeah, I mean, I, I guess, you know, this is, pretty good news you know billy break well for billy break anyway um he, he he gets to move on to nationals into worlds and so and his girlfriend i don't know if she's actually gonna um play in those events but yeah i mean still it's it's still a pretty big deal that he actually got banned this quickly and you know this is a snapchat uh screenshot so you know it says on the third day he rose uh, although it's technically is the fourth day but you know um, Billy Break is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus, so they they just wanted to keep that meme alive. And, you know, there, there are going to be a few, a few salty haters saying, oh, Billy Break sh uh, still should have stayed banned. And j just ignore those people, honestly. Like, like pro they, they probably have nothing good in their lives going on. You know, they, they want everybody to be as low as they are. And <laughs> honestly, I mean, if you, if you aren't happy about this, I mean, you either don't play Yu-Gi-Oh! or... You know, you, you're probably not, you're probably not a happy person. Yeah, I'm, uh, I, I guess that's all for now. I mean, it's, it's pretty crazy news. I mean, honestly, it's, it's like Konami has actually listened to the community for once. Now, if only they could do, do this with ban list, all right? We should have an emergency ban list that unbans a card. Do you know how funny that would be? An, an emergency balance that unbans a card? Just like they made this with uh, unbanning a player. They should make an emergency balance that unbans a card. Gateway. Anyway, yeah, that's all I have to say for now. Peace.